Hey, it's Mike. Thanks for tuning back in. Today is, I don't even know what day it is actually. I think it's, it's Monday. I am in Las Vegas. Quick stop on our uh, tour of some national parks out here. Uh, and because I'm in Las Vegas, I wanted to stop in at the awesome card shop, which is Marcel's. If you watch Chasing Cardboard, you're familiar with Marcel's, with Marcel, who to me, he's really funny. He's got a very dry, uh, cringy sense of humor and I like cringe comedy uh he's just yeah, I don't know he's really funny so when nearby I had to look up the awesome card shop and I was two tenths of a mile away I was out with my family and I was like I wonder where the awesome card shop is google maps it is that a verb google maps it and uh here I am I was like oh all right I'm leaving see ya so I'll be here for a half hour maybe just to see what it's like Okay, so I'm back. Unfortunately, Marcel was not there, which was a bummer because I was really hoping to meet him. But uh, I already put my stuff in my pockets. Here we go. All right, so the, the shop is awesome. Light on vintage, very light on vintage. There's actually a Raleigh Fingers case where he brings in his cards and so I don't know if he's selling them to them or if they're consigning them but that's most of the vintage. There was, and by the way, everything is priced extremely well, which is shocking for a small card shop. Uh, very clean shop, very well organized, tons of wax, which doesn't surprise me. That's just the way it is nowadays, I think, with most card shops. Uh, so much wax. And then they also had these, I wish I had taken a picture of one, small stars, which were like big, uh, uh, I don't know, how, like dolls of basketball players. And they had Luca and Zion and Kawhi Leonard. Uh, they were kind of neat. I wouldn't buy one, but they were cool. I, I liked, they, they, they looked realistic. A um, lot of modern, most of the singles were modern. They did have like a 55 Bowman Willie Mays. So the, eh, there's a little bit of vintage, but just not much. And uh, fair on the prices. So I ended up getting this pack of 1981 Tops basketball for 90 bucks. These I bought, for, I bought these for Oliver though. So uh, I'll open those up on video. And then I also got this Coco rookie refractor i think this is her rookie card somebody please don't correct me if i'm wrong uh it's 2021 i think these were actually released like 2023 if i remember correctly even though they're 2021 i got that for 40. so yeah really pleased with my pickups um good shop really good shop uh, marcel's partner was there I think his name was Steven. I didn't meet him, but I, I did tell him he had a really nice shop. Uh, again, that had like a breaking table. There was a guy who appeared to be breaking boxes there. Uh, lots and lots of modern, ultra modern at very fair prices. I didn't look at any of the wax prices. I assume those are perfectly reasonable too. But uh, yeah, nice shop in the kind of, in the middle of a shopping center. By the way, I'm going to flip this around a little bit if I can. I can't while I'm, while I'm filming, I guess. You can see the mountains. I'll, I'll, I'll put another video up. The, the mountains of Las Vegas are amazing. I'm, in, I'm from Maine and the mountains are all green. They're covered with trees. Out here, of course, you've got, they're, they're very rocky. Uh, and it's, it's such an amazing, beautiful view to me. I'm sure that the people here take it for granted, just like we in Maine take the mountains in Maine for granted. But uh, yeah, it's hot here too. It's, I'm not accustomed to this heat, especially in April. All right, here we go. I've got one hand. I don't have my normal setup, unfortunately. Not that my normal setup is anything special. Okay. We have Bill Cartwright, longtime foal, if I remember correctly. John Drew. We have 
Malone, Malone Level, Level, I'm not sure how to pronounce his name. Sons, Robinson, Robinson and Adams. There we, there's a Larry Bird card. Bird leader with scoring, rebounds, and Tiny Nate Archibald, team leader in assists. Bobby Jones. Johnny Davis. And Vinny Johnson. Henry Bibby. Mike Bibby was, of course, a uh, star Kings player when I was big into basketball in the 90s. And I think now is like a bodybuilder or something. Dave Robish. A lot of these guys I've never heard of because I wasn't, uh, I wasn't a fan in the 70s and early 80s and not really a student of basketball history like I am of baseball. Joe Bryant. Kobe's dad? I don't remember. Michael Brooks. And Billy Ray Bates. And that's it. Here's the gum. I once ate a piece of gum out of a pack from 1978 basketball tops. I will not be eating the gum out of this one. That's it guys, let me know how I did, uh, but spoiler alert, it wasn't very well. It wasn't very good. All right guys, thanks very much for watching. Let me know if you've been to the awesome card shop in Las Vegas or not, and I will see you very soon.